Hello there. I uh, just want to say thanks for taking the time to tune in uh, to what we're calling Focus Fix. And it's just a time to, you know, to bring the focus back to where it needs to be and bring us back to Jesus. And uh, I wanted to take a moment and take you to the most magical place on earth. Uh, and our, our family uh, are really big fans of going to Walt Disney World. Uh, one of my favorite attractions of all time there is something called the Carousel of Progress. And the attraction is interesting because you sit in this theater and the whole show is made up of these audio animatronics. And, and when you finish a scene, the whole theater rotates to the next scene. And the attraction's premise is this exploration uh, of the joys of living through the advent of things like electricity and other uh, technological advances during the 20th century of this typical uh, American family. And it's a fun show. It's, it's lots of, it, it's, it's famous around the world. Uh, but my favorite part of the whole thing is the theme song where they sing uh, this theme song from scene to scene. And the, the narrator, his name is John, who's voiced by Gene Shepard, by the way, who also, fun fact, narrated a Christmas story, sings a song. He says, there's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow's just a dream away. And it's a song that brings hope. And it, and it points the hearers away from the troubles of today, looking toward a hopeful tomorrow. And the Bible is full of, of verses that talk about tomorrow, right? Uh, we have a lot of them that talk about worry or making plans for the future. But I wanted to take a moment to consider something that Paul writes to the Roman church. And Paul spends time uh, discussing uh, all of the beginning of Romans, talking about God's work and mercy and love throughout all of human history. And then Paul leads us to what we call this love and action section of Romans chapter 12. Listen to these verses. He says, don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. And just really briefly, I want to I want to look at two important parts of that scripture. And the first one is this: is Paul's encouragement to love, big, heartfelt, genuine love. And that's one of the things that has brought me so much encouragement these last couple of weeks. Seeing people pour their love out in others that we just didn't hear a whole lot about just a couple of weeks ago. Look for stories of love. Be a story of love. But then secondly, he, he says to rejoice in our confident hope, to be patient in trouble, and to keep praying. Yes, things are difficult, and we're living in a time unlike any other that we've lived before. But we have hope, and we have direct access to the creator of the universe in prayer. We have hope hope. And through our faith in Jesus, even in the midst of, of a great difficulty, we have a great big, beautiful tomorrow.